A lot of our fans think that we hate each other. I mean, at one point, probably. <laughs> but I mean, it, that was, it's been a really long time, you know? So maybe at one point that was true. Welcome back, Ghost Gang! Today, he's finally here! We have a YouTuber, streamer, as well as leader and jungler of a BTK, MOBA Zay! Yeah. Hey, hello Zayn, how are you? I'm good, thank you for having me. It's been about a week, I don't know. Anyway, for a long time, since the fall season NACD ended, what have you been up to? Uh, honestly, just worrying about YouTube and stuff. Since I have a lot more free time, I'm starting to get back into working out, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about MPLI and M5 and all that stuff. More free time on my hands, for sure. Wow. R more relaxed. Okay. A lot of viewers are hyped to see you. First of all, congratulations on getting 1 million subscribers wow. on your channel. How does it all this feel? Uh, it feels really good, yeah. I mean, it's been a long time coming. Uh, after M3, the channel exploded after M4 and watching MSC that helped. You can see the plaques over here. Mm. I hung them up. It feels great just holding them in your hands and realizing, you know. Do you play games when you rest? Any other games, different game too? Maybe I'll download like a random mobile game here and there and just, just nothing too serious. You know, I'm not too much of a gamer outside of Mobile Legends, to be mm. honest. You're the team leader for BTK. I believe you formed the team yourself, right? How did you feel when you saw your teammates in real? It felt really crazy seeing them in person, you know? It mm. really did. The people that you talk to for years online, you finally get to see them. It's it, it was awkward at first. It was definitely awkward seeing the seeing the people that you talked to for years <laughs> finally being there. Mm -hmm. That went away fast, you know. You're right. To be honest, yeah, I had the experience yeah. last also too. How, how about your best teammates of all time in all the team you've been a part of? I don't know about skill, but in terms of personality and like friendship, that would probably have to go to BTK Victor. Yeah. Mm. Do you still have a good relationship with him? Sometimes we talk. He doesn't. He's not really as active as he used to be. Mm. But yeah, we're still on good terms. We'll talk. I do really miss playing with him on the team. Wow. His energy and everything. It's it's really nice to be around him. Yeah, he's a fun person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. What is the requirement to join BTK? How can people join BTK? Uh, it's not really like an open recruitment. I don't know how you and Gosu do it, but for BTK, basically, if I see somebody with potential, I'll, I'll usually just confront them and ask them because all the top players in North America, we're always going versus each other every day. So everybody kind of knows everybody. And it's really easy for me. If I think somebody's really good, I'll just reach out myself and ask them. Oh, I see. I see. Many fans expected a BTK versus TOB in the grand final. Even me too. But BTK lost to Team Avalon and took third place in the tournament how do you feel like what, what's the actually problem in there uh, i feel like first things first i think the zero two loss beforehand might have definitely impacted us more than we probably like to admit because i was thinking that we were gonna win versus tob the first series but unfortunately we didn't and avalon just went into it really prepared you know what can i say it's wow. quite a big upset going from first practically undefeated in north america to going to third but what can you do they, they came more prepared for us they played better than us they played as a team more i see is there any happening to your relationship with your teammates after the game definitely talking less you know they're playing a lot less as well i think they're focusing t and yato focusing on school mm. chicken is still playing mobile legends we still talk a lot uh but mostly they're just busy with school and stuff they're taking a bit of a break you know because ever since this new btk was formed about eight months ago it's been constant mobile legends every day for like eight months you know what i mean yeah that's crazy. so it's been it's been very stressful for all of us and this is basically you know the first real relaxing break that we could have how, how did you come up with the idea idea of a collaboration with me what made you agree to our interview you know i figured it's been a long time since and we never really have collabed before mm. besides versing each other in ranked and making making videos on each <laughs> making videos on each other but um it's been long enough and Sounds. we might as well do something together you know yep uh, we've encountered a lot of dramatic situations and you're going up a lot of people's gossip what do you think of this interest to be honest, maybe I say too many things on my stream that I shouldn't, and I should. For some of them, I should probably be a little bit more careful with my words. But to be completely honest, I don't really mind if people have too much of an issue with it because at the end of the day, the haters are still watching me. You know, they're supporting wow. the channel still, so yeah. I don't mind. A lot of our fans think that we hate each other. Oh shit, here we go. Here we go. And what do you have to say about our relationship? I mean, at one point, probably. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, yeah, one point. <laughs> but the, I mean, like, that was that was how many years ago? Three, about. So it's been a really long time. I think four, you know, yeah, four since, or five or something. It's been a it's been a long, long, long time. Mm -hmm. So maybe at one point that was true, but I don't think that's the case now. All right, sounds good. Yeah, that was a too long time. So probably it passed. It passed a lot, like a too long. I have a very interesting data here. It was three thousand four hundred dollars in NACD first season, but so far BTK has a record of one hundred eleven thousand dollars in tournament prize money in our data and you got a lot of money from m3 and nacd spring season how do you share the prize money with your teammates or what did you do or what will you do with this prize I think M3 was probably one of the only tournaments where I actually took the prize pool. Usually for the other tournaments, I just try and split it up four ways between the team. Or if there was a sub, just try to do like, give the sub some of mine or stuff like that. You know what I mean? Because mm. me and you, we can rely on YouTube so we can do Mobile Legends full time. But for the younger kids who don't really do YouTube, they can't really do that. So I just try to give them the prize pool because I already have, you know, what I have on YouTube. Wow. But like uh, maybe the radio will be you take the four, they take the six, huh? something. What did he say? Hey. Oh. <laughs> what are you? What are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is Team BTK's plan for future? It's really hard to answer that. Well, like I said, I've just been kind of just chilling, waiting to uh, watch MPLI, watch M5, see what happens with TOB and the rest of the tournament. And uh, overall, just worrying about YouTube, just streaming, trying to have a good time. In terms of plans for the team, I, I really don't have a solid answer for you right now, to be honest. Mm. Okay, I have a personal question. Uh, do you have a girlfriend? No, not at the moment. All right, then. Um, What is your idol type? Ideal? Uh, yeah, I did type. I don't... I don't think I'm too picky, to be honest. Uh, for the so long, I've been so focused on Mobile Legends, you know, competing and doing YouTube. It's really a lot that I don't think I can manage to have a girlfriend as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I feel like having you probably relate because you're uh, you've been with your girlfriend for a long time, right? Yeah, yeah. I already mm -hmm. mentioned that, you know, officially. I mean, yeah, you would know it takes a lot of time. It could affect, you know, your personal job and stuff like that. Doing YouTube, maybe you don't have much as much time as you do before. I see. Too busy. Yeah, too busy. Mm -hmm. Let's see. You, you want to do that like a video message to your future girlfriend? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, all right. You've been playing and stream for a long time. How do you find the motivation to continue playing Mobile Legends? Uh, I just love competing. You know, I love what I do. I love streaming and, you know, improving each and every day and forming a team and trying to take on the best teams in Asia with that team mm -hmm. where we come from such a small region. I like that the odds are always against uh, North America. America. So if you were to play Mobile Legends and making content, what do you think you would be doing right now? Honestly, I'm not too sure. I mean, I didn't want to go into college right after high school because even in high school, I was already kind of a small channel with a different game. And then a little bit out of high school, I switched straight back to Mobile Legends. But I really loved science and wow. I don't know, science or business. It'd probably be one of those that I would be doing right now. To be honest, I don't think I would be like doing YouTube stuff if it wasn't for competing okay it'd be because it, uh, it, i would lose motivation then completely that's that's a new thing to know wow uh, what is your overall goal in mobile legend and youtube do you want to turn this into a permanent career or something honestly no i don't I'm, I'm trying my best right now and i plan to do it for the near future but to think that you know esports and stuff like that could be done forever i mean it, it definitely can't you know and i don't want to be a caster or an analyst or just a general content creator so we'll see what happens happens probably when i stop competing is the time that i'll look to do something new okay this is another interesting question another request from our fans is that they want to see us sync together i didn't even know that so do you ever want to do a cover video together for the fans i, I really do and i'm hoping you say yes because all right <laughs> i promised uh i promised my fans that i would sing bohemian rhapsody at 1 million subscribers but that's really not a solo song so i was hoping that maybe me and you could figure some way to do that together i think that would blow up though if me and you did that oh. i think it's like five people singing that. <laughs> <laughs> what are the main difference between playing on youtube for your viewers and playing in actual in an actual pro tournament 
Uh, well, on YouTube, it's more for entertainment, you know, and I'll play a bunch of wacky heroes that I would really never play in an actual tournament. Sometimes it's hard, too, because when I'm streaming and I'm trying to be entertaining, it's really not like full on practice. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because like I said, it's like two different things. So you're currently playing the jungler in BTK. Do you have any jungling tips for our viewers? Uh, a few tips I would give is always make sure you're constantly farming. A lot of the mistakes that junglers make is they'll be fighting way too much in the lower ranks. Sometimes I see a lot of junglers that just have the lowest gold in the game, even lower than their roam, because they just don't take time to go back into their jungle and farming. And always be looking at the minimap. To be a really good jungler, you need a good combination of when to fight and when to farm. And when you start to overdo or underdo one of those, that's when things get a bit messy how can you try to figure that you're doing wrong or you're you're doing well uh usually just through practice you'll learn and kind of adapt and it becomes muscle memory on what's good and what's bad which are some of your favorite jungle hero i know you know when i used to play saber a lot right oh yeah you remember those days yeah, yeah. Memory. i had about four thousand games on saber or something when i first started mobile legends so he, he was my favorite for a long long time after that it definitely went over to uh granger wen wen yss roger mm. carry yep all those marksmans and back then you could take them jungle you remember with retribution one through one mm -hmm. like hyper carry kind mm -hmm. of meta that was a really fun time i would say those are still definitely my favorite even if they're not too usable right now i still really enjoy them all right so how much training do you do to get to your uh, current skill level I, I have at least you know 10,000 hours and yeah probably more than 20,000 games going from marksman to jungle in either one of those roles it's a lot of practice I see okay let's move to that the gameplay part so I hope we see some of those skills in your gameplay we're gonna be showing one of your recent pro tournaments and I'm gonna ask you some question about your game are you ready all right, let's do it. Let's go. I saw that some comments that uh, BTK doesn't have a uh, the coach. I think there was the problem. Uh, I think there was more to it, more more than us losing to Avalon than just not having a coach. But I think there was definitely other things wrong. 